Hi there, my name is Michael Minns and I will briefly demonstrate how to operate a Willis WM3VS Nemo. It's a very simple machine, 3 horsepower head, R8 spindle. Uh, not much to it. We can start off by just showing you briefly the forward reverse switch for the spindle. We've got reverse on the right, forward on the left, simply. The spindle's on in reverse. Here's the brake. Forward. Shows you the brake. Then we can show you or demonstrate how to change the RPM of the spindle. Let's start with forward. Very simply, we have our low speed, high speed. Currently, we are at high speed with this handle right here, and we are running at 4,200 RPMs. If we want to slow down, we simply move the handle, and it indicates right here what the RPM, currently running at 2,800 RPM. Brake, same would go as in reverse. 2,800 RPM. Spindle's moving in the opposite direction. We have a few different features on this machine. Uh, first one I will show you right here is this knob here on the side, which is the high and the neutral and the low. Currently, this is pointed forward. We are in the high range. If we want to move into the low range, we simply put this back. We can turn the spindle to make sure that everything lines up and put it into low gear. When that machine is in low gear, when we come over here, we turn on the spindle, and it is now moving at 34 RPMs because we are now in low gear. Again, if you would like to change that while in gear, you simply change that. Again, off, brake, opposite direction. Now, we have some other options where we can put this machine into a power feed. Uh, we can put the quill. What we'll do here is uh, we have our quill feed and it says stop motor to engage and disengage when not used and then do not use at speeds above 3000 RPMs and disengage and engage. So we have right now it is not engaged. If we want to engage it, we simply move that over. Turn on the spindle and you can now see that this power feed or fine feed is moving. If we want to actually engage that feature, we simply take this handle and engage. And the spindle, as you can see slowly, is moving down. If its power feed has been engaged, if you want to disengage it, you can simply do this. Or, if you would like, it could be engaged and it will disengage when it comes to the bottom. This depth feed stop can be adjusted up or down wherever you want it. For instance, if I come here, I engage the power feed, let's say right top of it, it will come down until it hits that limit. We'll simply disengage. Uh, another feature, if you pull this out, you can reverse the direction to go up. Now we'll show you how to change the feed rate of your power feed and we'll start by turning on the spindle. Our power feed has been engaged as earlier and we have our various high, low, and medium ranges for the feed rate. Right now we're in low. As you can see when I come up here, this speeds up quite a bit as opposed to the low which is right here and then in between the happy medium the middle. Okay? So, what we'll do is that'll change your rate, and that changes how fast the spindle will go back down by power, either down or up. And again, to engage, you simply engage that knob, and as you can see, the flow is slowly moving down. Uh, if you want, you come up to high, that moves a little faster, and again, this comes and you have a higher feed rate. Uh, to disengage again, all you need to do is simply that. you are back in manual mode. Uh, in order to operate the table, again, this is a manual machine. In order to do the x-axis, very simple. The knee up and down, very simple. And then your y. Other than that, it is just a standard uh, three horsepower milling machine, manually operated. 
Uh, and again, if anybody has any questions, please feel free to call us at 419-537-1717 or visit us online at www.willismachinery.com. Thank you for your time and have a wonderful day.